Hey folks, Justin here with Movo. Today, we're gonna check out the THB series of camera bean bags from Movo. They come in a few different sizes. We'll go ahead and check them out, see what they come with, and then I'll show you a few examples of how I use them with my own equipment. Here we have the THB01. Um, all of the THB bean bags are going to be pretty much the same with the exception of the size. Now, here inside the bag, we have a few things. Uh, first up is that happy, not happy comment card. Let's us know how to reach out to Movo if we have any questions or comments. Uh, next up is the bean bag itself. Super durable bean bags that are camouflaged with two straps on the bottom. Um, once I fill this up with sand, you'll be able to see the actual um, shape and how it fills out. On the top, you'll notice there is a um, hole cut out for a mounting plate. We'll get to that here in a moment. Um, on one side of the bean bag, you'll notice there is a zipper. When you open this zipper up here, this is where you're going to fill in your sand um, or your beans or whatever it is that you're filling up these bean bags with. Now, on the other side, there's a Velcro pouch which has, um, has a secondary plate or a, a spacer that you can use uh, with your camera's tripod head or whatever it is that you're, you're mounting. I'll show you this here more in a moment. Um, in our second pouch, this little one right here, uh, when we open this up, we see our main um, mounting plate. This is a 3 8 inch uh, standard tripod head uh, um, thread. This is what we're going to use to mount our ball head or our tripod head to if you need an extra spacer depending on what you have for, for a tripod head or your ball head. This is what you can use right here. So definitely comes in handy to have that ready to go so you don't have to go searching for washers. Now this will slide right into the top here. There's a Velcro um, pouch type on the top and this is where I'll slide the mounting plate into. When I slide this all the way in, now you can see it's going to be a nice and flat surface for putting our tripod head um, or whatever it is that you're going to mount to your 3 8 inch uh, screw right here. I have the bean bag packed full of sand right now. Uh, now if you're thinking about what you're going to fill the bean bag with, maybe you don't have sand, um, you could use dirt, you could use beans. Uh, there, there's a ton of things you can use. The main thing is you want it to have some weight to it to give you that, that stability for your device. Um, and, um, and you don't want it to clump up real hard inside. So if you can't find dirt or sand or beans and you have access to, say, um, new kitty litter, right? Just go down to the local grocery store, pick up a cheap bag of kitty litter that's non-clumping, uh, non-scented, right? If you're going to be out in the wilderness so you're not attracting any animals, you, you can definitely do that. So um, think outside the bag when it comes to what you're going to fill it up with. Um, and, and just make sure it has a decent amount of weight so it gives you that stability you're really looking for. Now on the top, we do have the 3 8 um, screw on top. It's a 3 8 so that's your standard tripod head or ball head. Um, you can use it something like this, or this is from an old tripod. I just pulled it right off there. You can even use this with smartphones. So when it comes to selecting what size bean bag that you want to get, um, think about what it is you're going to be mounting onto it. Um, so if I want to use a smartphone or maybe a DSLR, this size right here would be perfect. So I can easily set this up here, take my smartphone, slide that into place, tighten it down, um, and now I'm ready to go. So think about it a little bit, play around with, uh, with the, the bean bag, with your devices. As I always say, when you go out to use any equipment, um, whether it's this bean bag or anything else, think about um, different scenarios that you might face, right? Especially if you're doing wilderness photography or video um, or even capturing audio. Uh, you want to plan a little bit ahead of time and have experience using your, your equipment. Um, right now I'm attaching a Canon 70D um, to this, to this uh, bean bag with the ball head already on there. And you'll see here the important part of having that ball head. And what's nice is you can put your favorite ball head on there, your tripod um, head. It, it's, it's up to you and what works for you. So once you have it on there, 
um, you can really get that angle that you want, right? If you were to attach your camera, maybe with an adapter straight to the beanbag, it would definitely still function and work. You just wouldn't get a lot of movement out of it. So just plan ahead. Think if you're gonna be using it with a DSLR or a video camera or maybe a smartphone. Um, I've also uh, used this with a microphone. That way I could get some good audio. Um, you can take a couple of these out. Maybe you want to use a, a camera slider. The, the possibilities really are endless when it comes to setting up and using these. Um, I took these out, uh, a few of them, and I tested it with my own equipment. I used it with a slider, with a microphone, with a couple different cameras. Uh, I'll show you those right now. Um, that way you can get some ideas of how you might want to use uh, one of these bean bags once you get them. And there you have it, the THB series of camera bean bags from Movo. I hope this gave you a couple ideas of how you might set up and use the bean bags when you get them. Uh, the possibilities really are endless when it comes to different ways to use the bean bags, depending on uh, what it is you're going for and the environment that you're shooting in. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to reach out and let us know. We love hearing from you all here at Movo. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.